For most of us, vision comes naturally. We don't think about the process behind it, but vision is a process. Light comes through the pupil, it is focused by your lens, and it is turned into signals your brain can understand by an amazing bit of tissue at the back of the eye called the retina. The retina is the busiest part of the body. Each cell is a light processing factory. The factories gather light and convert it into electrical messages that can be understood by the brain. The operating instructions for these factories are called genes. People with inherited retinal diseases have an error in these operating instructions. This error, called a mutation, may mean that some crucial part of the process just doesn't happen, resulting in vision loss. One missing piece can shut down the assembly line and eventually the entire factory. The goal of gene replacement therapy is to provide new instructions to keep the factory working. So how do we get new instructions into the factory? The biological world already has specialists in industrial espionage called viruses. Viruses infect cells by sneaking into the factory. They take over the factory by giving the cell's machinery new instructions. Scientists use these stealth skills to design new therapies for vision loss. The scientists remove most of the virus's own genes, then they put new instructions into the shell of the virus. Scientists then inject these biological secret agents into the retina. Gene therapy can be adapted to treat many different blinding mutations. It cannot repair a cell factory that has been destroyed. However, the first human trials have shown that gene therapy can repair the assembly line and improve vision. Scientists funded by the Foundation Fighting Blindness are working on gene therapies and other types of therapy to protect vision cells and restore sight. To learn more about this and other sight-saving research, visit ffb.ca or call 1-800-461-3331. Your support makes sight-saving discoveries possible.